guys, Ian Golden here. I'm sitting here in the DJ Tech Tools office late at night, playing around right here with a brand new Tractor Scratch Pro 2. Uh, this is the brand new T-Pro 2 that just got announced, and I wanna give you a tour of the software and show you all the brand new features, including these new sample decks, of course, the fancy colored waveforms that you see right here, and some new effects that you'll see a few of loaded over here, and a number of other really cool features that you might not be aware of that are kind of under the hood. So let's dive right in. Um, of course, you'll notice the look here is very different, but the very first thing you'll notice is that Tractor Pro 2 can actually be installed side by side right next to Tractor. So here's Tractor, here's Tractor Pro 2. That's gonna use the same library as Tractor. So all of your loops and cue points and everything will transfer over, but you can install it right here adjacent to Tractor. So if you need to go back to Tractor 1 because of performance issues or whatever, you can. We'll go ahead and launch that there, go back into the software. Now, if you've got an NI sound card, I've got the Audio 2 right here, and you're running with the uh, built-in audio, and you plug in the NI sound card, it's gonna automatically switch to that and set it up for you so you don't have to go through the setup process and it works perfectly. Um, go in here to audio, and there it is, Audio 2 DJ. Cool. We'll actually unplug that. It'll go back into built-in automatically, kind of help you out a little bit. Now, of course, the first thing you'll notice is the GUI. It's nice and dark. It's really clean. Right now, it's a little bit busy, but we can make it a lot more simple. Um, you can make it more simple by going in here into some new uh, layouts. The Essential, of course, being one of the best. Um, to make this even cleaner, we would go into the setup, go into decks, and we would go ahead and disable C and D. And there we see a very simple layout. It's removed a lot of the features here. You've got these nice big chunky waveforms and you get really a very, very nice drilled in focus on the waveforms here. And the most important thing, of course, is browsing your music. So now these decks have a few different flavors as they're called now. Um, there's the, the, right now we're seeing the essential flavor. It's only giving you the essential information you need. You can also go to small. You may be familiar with that look from Tractor Pro. Micro, the minimal amount of information you theoretically should need. Full, that's really more of a T Pro 1 look. And then Advanced, which really just gives you all of these features right here. So the new look here is Essential, which I really like. It gives you a higher waveform. It's really a solid, clean looking deck. And when you've got multiple decks showing, it's pretty understandable. We could even go in there and further customize that layout, hide some mixer stuff, and make it even cleaner. So of course the next major thing that you're going to notice about the GUI are these big colored waveforms. This is one of four colored waveforms options that you have, and you're going to go ahead and go into decks, and you will see the options there. Down under miscellaneous in color mode, this is the spectrum setting. And switch that to x-ray for sort of a black white look without very much definition i'm going to go ahead and zero this waveform out so you can really see it you can of course zoom really far out or the really cool new feature if you're trying to find a particular hit you can zoom really far in that's the x-ray version and you've got the infrared kind of looks a little bit like the older t pro but giving you some more definition in the waveform ultraviolet I really think most people are going to go with the Spectrum though. This is where you get the information about kicks and snares and you really can start to see separation in parts here in the waveform and here in the detailed view. Also under miscellaneous you can customize the grid mode. We've got the full mode which shows you the full grid lines. Dim reduces those lines a little bit. Ticks just gives you the ticks above. Kind of a nice look there. And invisible. No grid lines whatsoever just get the pure solid waveforms. One other option here in this same DEX window as far as the GUI look for you scratch guys is the platter scope. Uh, there's this minimized view which gives you a minimal view of what's going on with your with your DEX. The platter view, it's bigger, it's more visible, 
it's got this line instead of a dot, it should be more clear. And then a full scope view, which gives you in real time an image of what your turntable signal looks like. Before we close out of that guy, I'm gonna go ahead and go into output routing, switch to external. You can now route several decks to one channel. Couldn't do this before. So let's say you only have a two channel sound card like the Audio 2, but you wanna run four channels of audio out to your mixer. Go ahead and mix multiple decks onto one output. Now, of course, you would need to, in this case, uh, use volume control or using the gains or the filters or something, if you're using external control, because you don't have those internal volume faders. But it's a little bit of a workaround, so you can use a full four decks without a large multi-channel sound card. Also gives you a new look as far as what your actual latency is. We bring down the latency to the processing latency of 2.9, which is pretty realistic. We'd have an overall latency of 4.7, um, which is really good. Generally a rule of thumb, anything above 10, I personally start to feel. If you're able to achieve somewhere between five and 10, you're gonna have a really snappy, responsive tractor software. Just a little tip here, if you're trying to set your latency, what you wanna do is turn on all the effects, run several decks at once, really just crush the hell out of your processor, bring this latency down until you start to hear it breaking up, and that's obviously too low, so then slowly raise it from there until you get solid audio. And in that way, you can kind of stress test your system. One really cool feature that's now in Tractor Pro 2 is that all four of these decks, you'll see right now just C and D are sample decks, can be sample decks. So if we go into the preferences once again, into decks, we can go ahead and change these guys to sample decks. And boom, theoretically you could run up to 16 loops on top of each other and really get an Ableton style set going right inside a tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and change that back because that's really not the way I personally like to DJ, but it may be what you like. I'm gonna turn off C and I really like this essential view. So I'm gonna switch back to that, load a few tracks up here and see how they sound. One thing you guys might be wondering, is this software compatible with my new S4? Absolutely. In fact, all new S4s will actually be shipping with Tractor Pro 2. So Tractor Pro is the new platform. Uh, and right here, you'll see that your Tractor S4 is built in, all the same stuff, all the same settings that you had in the S4 software. In fact, all the same uh, new functions that you had in the S4 are there, specifically, the loop recorder, that was the big update in S4 that Tractor Pro 1 didn't have. Of course, the sample decks and the loop decks we just talked about. But what are some new features that this software has that the S4 software didn't have is what you're probably wondering. Good question. We already covered a few of the GUI things. We covered the waveform differences. You also notice here that you've got some new effects, of course. The first effect is the tape delay, which is kind of a big wild tape sound. Next to it, we've got an auto bouncer. This guy would probably be really useful with the right kind of controller. And then a standard bouncer where you control the pitch of the bounce. Could also use a great MIDI fighter mapping. I'm sure we'll be creating some great things there. You've also got some additional effects if we scroll down. The final one is the ramp delay. Kind of a wild sound that you can dial in. So a cool new feature in Tractor Scratch Pro 2 is if you've got a loop running in one of the main decks and you start to filter that out and carve out a nice sound that you like and then you copy that into a sample deck, that filter setting actually copies with the loop. The loop. Well, there you have it, guys. That's pretty much all the brand new features in Tractor Pro 2. Now, we may have missed something here. If we did, tell me in the comments, but I think we've pretty much covered everything. I hope this video has been enjoyable and useful for you, and I look forward to seeing all of you on djtechtools.com.